Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we will work with device user to access the currently signed in user in the system. To do this, first open the Rails console and find a user because to sign in into the system, we first need to find a user, okay? Because we need the user email. So switch to the terminal and open a new tab and there run the Rails console, okay? And then try to find a user. So user.find1. Or with ID one or user dot first, you can do anything like user dot first. Okay, so you will get this, and now get the email of this user. So user dot first dot email. Okay, now we need to copy this email. So just uh, copy this email address, and now come to the browser, and in the browser, open the device sign in form. So localhost colon three thousand slash users sign in. Okay, and now you need to provide this email here. Okay, and if you remember that while generating the fake user data we provided a default password to all the user okay and you can see that default password in the seats.rb as well so open the seats.rb and here you can see that we use the password as the password so just copy the password okay and you can use this password as well by the way if you wish you can update the password and use that updated password okay but for now i using this password to login okay so you can use that as well so uh, place this password inside the password attribute and now click on the login button okay and when you click on the login you will see that you are signed in into the system and you can uh, see this into the console terminal here here you can see that when you uh, submitted the sign in form you can see that a request is sent to the device session controller and you can see that the current sign in ip sign in count one and last sign in ip has been updated for the user that means our user has been signed in successfully okay and after sign in we again redirect we are again redirected on the home page okay and now since we are signed in into the system we need to open the header partial and there we will try to accessing this current sign currently signed in user so switch to the project directory and open the header okay and i hope you remember the header partial that we created uh, in the second lecture when we installed the bootstrap okay so now what we need to do we need to write something here to access the current user okay and device provide a helper method for this and that is user signed in okay this helper method will check whether user is signed in or not okay if user is signed in then that helper method will return true else uh, it return false okay and if it returns true then only we can access the currently signed in user as current user okay so let's use that uh, helper method and we can use that inside the li uh, ul tag and now what we need to do here uh, we need to call the user uh, helper method that is if user signed in okay so this helper method will check if user is signed in or not okay and if user is signed in then we need to use a else block as well okay because we need to do something if user is not signed in so now end this block okay and now in the else part what we need to do that if user is signed in then we will display a link to sign out from the system okay in in the else part we will show a link to sign in to the system if user is not signed in already okay so now let's do that so first add the sign out link and we can copy this li item because we will uh, because we are adding the link into the uh, navigation bar so we need to use that uh, li item and now you can remove this static link and we will use our rails format link okay so now what we can do here that if user signed in then link to and here we can add sign out or logout whatever you want to display and then we need to use the device route for destroying the user session or deleting the user session okay and device provide destroy user session path for that okay and if you want to check it on the routes then you can switch to the terminal and run the rails routes like uh, rails routes grab users okay and when you run this you will see that the, the uh, device provide this path destroy user session path for deleting a user's session okay so copy this path and we can use that so destroy user session underscore path sorry path okay and now what we need to do we need to add a method delete here okay because whenever you are creating a link if it is not get request by default then always mention the 
method type of the request okay for example if it is post request then mention method post in your link if it is patch then method mention method patch in your link and if it is delete then mention method delete in your link okay otherwise it will be considered as the link for get request okay so now what we need to do data and here we will use method delete okay but we are using rails 7 so we will delete this user session using the turbo method okay so data and turbo method delete okay and if you wish you can add some confirmation here as well if a user actually want to sign in so we can add turbo confirm data turbo method delete and data turbo confirm are you sure or are you sure you want to sign out okay however this day turbo confirm is totally optional if you want to display you can do that and if you don't want to display confirmation dialog before signing out to the system you can skip that part okay and now we need to add the class here so what class we can add here let's say class and then nav link active okay so this link will be displayed on the navigation bar if user is signed in then you he can sign out using this link okay now what we need to do that in the else part we need to display a link to sign into the system okay and we need to display this link if user is not signed in then he must see the link to sign in because right now what we did that we go to the url and we type the url to see the sign in form okay but uh, in real application that should not happen user must see the login or logout links in the navigation okay so we add the link to logout now we need to add the link for login if user is not signed in already okay so you copy this li item and paste it into the else part okay and here what we will do link to sign in okay and now switch to the terminal again and here you can see that for user sign in what path rails provide new user session okay so we need to copy this path and we can re replace this via destroy user session path okay and now you can remove your data part as well because now we are sending this request as a get request so we don't need to mention any method here okay and uh, as i told you already that uh, whenever you create a link and you don't make mention the method type in the link it will be considered as the link for the get request okay so now you can see that we have two links that is uh, sign out and sign in okay and now save this and switch to the browser and when you refresh the page you will see that there is sign out link right now why because we already signed in with a user okay now if you click on the sign out you will see a uh, data confirmation that is are you sure you want to sign out and if you click on the okay you will see a sign in link okay now when you click on sign in it will redirect you on the sign in page okay so let's try to sign in again so copy the same email from the uh, terminal okay so just copy this email switch to the browser paste it here and now provide the password and when you uh, sign in again you can see the sign out link again okay and that means our user uh, sorry our current access current user is accessed by uh, rails su successfully okay now what we need to do that you can see that when you click on home you can see the hash in the url and when you click on the navbar you will again see the hash on the url now we can uh, uh, remove the dummy home link and we can change the title of navbar to some meaningful title for the application okay so now switch to the header file again and here what we can do that here you can see if user signed in then we can display a link for visiting its current uh, its profile okay so now just copy this link again and here above the sign out paste it and here what we can do just use link to sign out uh, sorry replace the sign out by my profile okay and now in the last lecture what we did that we use the member path to visit a user's detail page okay so we can visit that same member path here so we can do member path okay so my profile member path and here we can provide current user okay so this is how you can use the current user okay and the current user method will only work if user is signed in if user is not signed in then you will get undefined method local variable current user okay and now replace this data part as well 
okay so now you can see that we have a link my profile okay and now we can remove this home link because we don't need this because it doesn't do anything and now just to, uh, make a rails link here link to tag okay so link to okay and here we can add let's say dev community okay and it must be redirect on the root path okay and then add the class navbar brand okay and then remove this static link now save it and switch to the browser again and when you refresh your browser now you will see that our uh, navigation bar looks much better now okay when you click on my profile you can see that uh, this is the profile uh, sorry this is the the detail page of the currently signed in user and when you click on the dev community it will redirect you on the root page okay or the home page or landing page of the application and this kind of link is necessary because for example if you are at anywhere in your application and you want to move in the root page then in your navigation or any at any visible point in your application there must be a link that will redirect you on the home page or the root page okay so now here you can see again now when you go to the my profile you are now in the uh, detail page of the currently signed in user when you click on dev community you are on the home page and now when you click on sign out you can see are you sure you want to sign out and if you click on cancel you will stay signed in and if you click on ok then you will be signed out from the application okay but still this link will work okay because this is independent of whether user is signed in or not for example you can see that if you click the view profile of this developer and you click on the dev community you will be again redirected on the home page and that's it so in this lecture we learn how to access the current user and how to use device helper methods you can follow the device gem documentation for more information but for this lecture we are done okay so try this lecture at your end and we will meet into another lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe